Hello, and welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java. I'm Jason from CodeLearner.com, and here we're finally going to type in and compile our very first Java program, and we're going to do it using the command line tools, Java C to compile the program, and then the Java uh, virtual machine to run the program. In future lessons, we'll use the integrated development environment, and you'll see that it's a little bit smoother through there, but here we really want to use these basic tools so you understand the details of what's happening. All right, now as we have said in previous lessons, we need to be typing in our code into a .java file. So here I am in a blank directory. I'm calling it Mastering Java Volume 1, first example. Uh, you can follow along with any directory on your computer that you want to create. So what I'm going to do is right click and create a new file. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select text document because I really just want to type our code into a regular old text file. So I'm going to call this first example uh, .txt. Notice that I've capitalized the F and I've capitalized the E. It's not that important. I just want you to know that they're capitalized so that when we run the program you, you have to use the correct case and type it in exactly. So if I just click off of that, here I have first example .txt. Now notice that I can see that it's a text document over here, but I can also see the extension txt. Now in your system, depending on how you have it set up, you may not see the extension there. So let me show you how to turn that on if you don't already uh, have it on because I want you to be able to see everything. So just go into uh, the control panel. So here's the control panel. Inside the control panel, go to folder options. And when you do that, you will see this dialog box here, and you want to go over to the View tab here. And if you scroll down, here's a lot of stuff here. You see right here it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Right now I have it unchecked. You probably, if you've just installed your operating system, it's probably already checked. You go ahead and hit OK there, then you can see that I don't see the extension. Now I want to turn it on, that's why we're kind of showing you this here. So go to Folder Options, and then go into View, and then go over here where it says uh, hide extensions for known file types, uncheck it, hit OK, you can kill that, and now you can see the extension. The reason I want to see the extension is because this, this is not going to be a text file. It, it is going to be a text file, but the extension cannot be TXT. It needs to be Java. All right, so just like I told you, everything that you type in has to be in a file with a .java extension. It's just saying, hey, if you change the file extension, things might happen. You're like, yeah, I understand. I'm trying to do that on purpose. And it tells you it's a Java file. Now, if you try to double-click it to open this guy in Notepad and edit it, uh, Windows isn't going to know what to do because it's a Java file. So I'm going to select from a list of programs, and I'm just going to tell it to use Notepad to, uh, to uh, open these Java files. And so the next time, if I want to double-click on a text document with a .java extension, then Windows is going to know that uh, it's going to know that it can um, open them inside of Notepad. So here we are. Uh, typing our first program in first uh, example.java. It's a regular old text editor. All right, now, when you learn the program for the first time, there's going to be some things you don't understand right away because some of these things are things you learn later down the road. So in this first program, we're going to be typing in some things you may not understand. You, in fact, you won't understand exactly what everything is doing in the beginning. So just uh, fire it up, type it in, uh, I will explain in the next lesson and the subsequent lessons exactly what's going on, and as time goes on, you'll really get the hang of it. For now, just do it and understand that the, that the most basic skeleton of every program has to always start a certain way. All right, so what I want you to type in at the beginning is class space first example. Okay, now notice that first example is spelled exactly as our file name is. It just doesn't have the .java extension. Then you hit enter and you open a curly brace. That's the same key as a bracket, but it's a curly brace. Give yourselves a few spaces and close it. So this is defining a class, which is just the name of our program. I, mean, I think I mentioned before that all Java programs have to have at least one class, and so the name of the program is the class, and so the, the program is going to be contained inside of it. Everything inside of these curly braces is going to be our program. Next, on the next line inside that curly brace, uh, I like to hit a tab and indent it. You don't really have to, but I like to do it. Type the following thing in. Public space static space void space main parentheses. Inside the parentheses type in string and then open bracket, close bracket. Those are regular square brackets. Space args. Close your um, parentheses. Then hit enter, tab it in. 
hit an open in curly, tab it in here, and hit a close in curly. Now, I think I also mentioned that every single Java program begins execution inside of the main method. So here, forget about all these words. Those words are words that we're going to learn about later on. But you're going to need to start to get in the habit of having a main method with these words out front. What I want you to focus on is that this is a main method. Program execution is going to start between these curly braces. Everything between these curly braces is basically going to be our program. What's inside of here, I'll talk about later. Um, we'll, we'll do another lesson where we examine the details of this. But for right now, we want to tell the program to do something. So do the following. System dot out dot P-R-I-N-T-L-N, and make sure and type it in exactly as I have here, capital S, system dot out dot print line is what this is, open a parenthesis, put a quotation mark, and here's where you can type your very own program the first time to output whatever you want. I'm going to say, hello world, I love you, right, and then I'm going to close my uh, Quotations, I'm going to close my parentheses and I'm going to put a semicolon at the end of the line. So I basically what's happening here is I'm telling the system to print to the screen whatever is in the quotations and there's a semicolon at the end of the line. We'll ex explain and talk about the exact reason why all this stuff is here. So now what I want to do is go and save this. So now we have typed in our first uh, program. I know that you don't understand the details of exactly why all these words are here, but basically the program execution starts in here. We type, uh, this is telling to output to the screen this text. All right, so now what we want to do is go ahead and kill that. This is our Java file. And then open up a command prompt, okay? Um, the easiest way to get to this is just go to start, run, and then type CMD, and it'll open it up. Or you can also file it, find it inside of your start menu. And we want to go to this directory. Let me kill that one. This one here is already in the first directory. Mastering Java Volume 1 slash first example. So this is, if I do dir, you can see our Java file is here. This is the one we just created, first example dot Java. All right. Now, we want to compile this guy and basically have it create the class file. So the way we do that is we use the Java compiler. So we type Java C. That's the Java compiler, space, first example, typing it exactly as the file is there, dot Java. You have to use the file extension when you're running the Java C compiler. Now let's go ahead and hit enter and see what happens. It thinks for a second. Everything is basically no errors. If there was any errors in your code or if you forgot to type something and it didn't understand, then you would have received an error. It would have told you immediately. Basically, it gives you a command prompt that means that it was successful. If we look back in our directory, we have a .java file and we have a class file that was created with exactly the same name as our program name. As we mentioned before in the slides, we type our code into .java files, the compiler outputs a .class file. All right, so let me clear the screen on this command prompt and do dir, and we can see, again in this directory, I have first example .class. And also I mentioned before, this .class file, I can run it on Windows here. I can also run it on Macintosh. I can run it on other platforms that have a Java virtual machine. This is freely distributable, and this is why you can write your code once and you can run it anywhere. I can take this class file and send it out and it'll run. So now I want to run the program uh, here on this system. So let me clear the screen. In order to run the program, we have to tell the Java virtual machine to run the program. So the Java virtual machine that's running it is going to be Java. That's the name of that other program, remember, space. Now we have to tell it what to run. First, example. When you run the program, you don't put the dot class at the end. You just do first example, because if you remember, inside this Java file is a class declaration uh, called first example there. So what you're telling it is, go look at the file name there and go in that class and start executing at the main method. So you don't have to put the dot class here. Hit enter, hello world, I love you, and you get the command prompt back. So congratulations, you've gone through and uh, compiled and executed your very first Java program. If you go back in into this Java file, if you change the text here, then you would have to go and compile it again, the class file would be updated, and then you could go and run it again by typing again Java space first example, and the text would change there. In fact, let's do that real quick. If we go in here, and then I would, instead of hello world, I'll say I love apples. Right, so I'm going to save this. And then I have to go and compile it. So I'll say Java 
C first example dot Java. Okay, compilation's done. The class file's been overwritten. Clear the screen, and I'll say Java. This is running the program first example. Don't put the dot class at the end. I hit uh, enter, and I say I love apples. So that's all I want to accomplish in this section. I want to show you that Java really is very simply having a text file with instructions, using the Java C compiler to create the class file, and then running that class file uh, there with the Java Virtual Machine. Um, so what we're going to do in subsequent lessons is we're going to have this integrated development environment, which is a much more powerful uh, editor, because as you've seen, this is kind of boring. This is all black and white. So we're going to use that Eclipse editor later, but I really wanted to drive home that it's really just about a .java file and a .class file. So all of the bells and whistles that you see within that Eclipse editor, it's going to look complicated. It's going to look hard to understand. Fundamentally, it's just a .java file where your code is, and then it outputs a .class file that you're able to run.